Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Thresher Andrew here and now uh, today I'm going to be discussing what changes that should be making if I do get this game. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this video started. Shall we? Alright, so how do I feel about this game right now? Well, um, I will say, uh, I had a little bit of fun playing some games, but, uh, after some games, it did kind of get a little stale. That's just my opinion. This game does have the same engine as Modern Warfare, but uh, it's pretty cool with the realistic and all that stuff. That's pretty cool, but uh, I don't know if I really want to get this game or not. Back then on Modern Warfare, I didn't really enjoy the game back on its prime and now because people's play style, how campy it is, how sweaty it is, how strict the skill-based matchmaking is, how sometimes bad the hit detection is on that game. And sometimes the aim assist, I, it's just, it was just so frustrating. Honestly, I don't think Modern Warfare was honestly a bad game. I had high hopes with the game, but uh, when it came out and when it was on its prime, I just really just didn't enjoy it. That maps where it was super slow, extremely campy. And now they add shoot to shit, which is shipment and shoe house, which is actually really cool. That mode is super sweaty. I don't know if that's going to be the case on this game. I really don't know. One thing I will say though, uh, the bullet detection and the aim assist on this game is very consistent. Skill based matchmaking is definitely going to hurt the chances of me getting this game. Yeah, that was basically my experience with Modern Warfare and I just don't know if it's going to be on this game or not because I don't really want to like, you know, waste money on a game that I don't enjoy. And honestly, this game looks pr looking pretty good, especially if Treyarch is working with the zombies and is on this engine. That is going to be interesting. And I'm actually going to be discussing some changes that should be made in this game. So uh, yeah. Let's get it. Coming into the changes, uh, y'all already know what I'm getting ready to say for the first one. <laughs> I'll type it out and on the screen right there. Please lower the skill based matchmaking. I'm gonna remove it, please. I'm begging you guys. I don't like. I'm not a fan of skill based matchmaking. I honestly hope they take it out or like reduce it to the point that it's not sweaty all the time. Another thing that should be changed, and I don't think I die from it that much on this game, but uh. I really hope the snipers ain't that crazy on this game because back on Cold War, before they nerfed the snipers, it was just to the point that some of the lobbies were just kind of unplayable. When you like shoot somebody at like five shot and then the sniper hits you with a one shot, I don't know how infuriating that was. So yeah, the snipers were kind of crazy on Modern I mean, not Modern Warfare, on Cold War and that's sometimes on Modern Warfare as well. But uh, I don't think they're not that infuriating as much as Cold War. I really hope they're not like that on this game. After they nerfed them, it made it a bit better. Still kind of infuriating to die by too. So I really hope that's not the case in this game. Alright, so um, another change. Actually, I hope they don't make this change right here. But uh, I hope they keep the aim assist and the bullet detection the same. Because uh, they are really good. They are absolutely good. I like it. All right, so coming into the bullet detection, and this is and the bullet detection in this game is good, but uh, hopefully that they don't change it to be very inconsistent. And, you know, like like it was with Modern Warfare. I don't think Co I think Cold War it was all right, it was all right. But in Modern Warfare, sometimes your shots would just straight up just go just like go all over the place. Actually, yeah, I take that back. Sometimes in Cold War, I play Dirty Bomb a lot, so. Sometimes in Cold War, it doesn't really happen that often, but on uh, Modern Warfare, it happens pretty often sometimes. Your bullets would just straight up just not hit the target. I don't think, I don't know if Fistles is actually that good in this game or not, but uh, make them fun, you know what I mean? Bullet detection, I really hope that, I really hope that doesn't get inconsistent as with Modern Warfare. But, uh, I will say, the detection in this game is pretty good. I like, I like it. It's pretty good. Alright, so another change that should be made... Or that should get tuned a little bit on the um the mes message of the day, the spawn tuning. Hopefully the spawns will when the beta or the real game comes out, if I get it or not. Hopefully the spawns are not like in Modern Warfare. Like make the spawns very consistent. And I will say on Cold War the spawns flip extremely quickly. So hopefully the spawns will stay kind of consistent. Where like kind of like kind of like for Black Ops Four, for instance, right? Take take the idea from Black Ops Four where the spawns they just like put it into this game. Modern Warfare the spawns were like inconsistent. Sometimes you would like straight up just spawn at the enemy's territory, like on the same area. And man, <laughs> kind of crazy. I, I'm not gonna even talk about shipment because. But uh, coming into Cold War, 
the, I would I wouldn't say nothing's like wrong with the spawns, but I gotta say the spawns spawns flip extremely quickly. And uh, yeah, back then I was playing a lot of Black Ops Four, and uh, when I sometimes when I hop on Cold War to get some guns level leveled up or doing some camo challenge and all that stuff. The spawns, which I just forget the spawn knowledge, logic, and all that stuff. And the spawns, which is straight up just flip extremely quickly. You don't even know if sometimes if they're coming behind you or not, especially on hardpoint. But hopefully the spawns are like very consistent. And uh, yeah, next subject I was actually going to talk about is the uh, map. I really hope the maps are not like Modern Warfare, where it was just so big and super slow and super campy. Cause that was yikes. Hopefully it's not like that on this game. I think that's pretty much basically it about my uh, feelings and changes about this game. The Vanguard, uh, I don't know if I want to get this game. I'm going to have to watch the videos on the beta. I don't know when it's going to come out, but uh, I'm going to have to watch some videos on the beta. See if I really want to get the game or not. I think this is going to be the end of the video right here. Uh, hope you guys do enjoy. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I haven't been playing Call of Duty a lot, so uh, I basically post every single weekend. Sometimes it might be a little bit inconsistent. I might, sometimes I might stream. I haven't been streaming for a while. Yeah, I basically post Battlefield, GTA, uh, possibly Need for Speed, and if I get an Xbox, I'm going to probably get some Forza Horizon. And I might try some other games as well because I... Right now, I need some I need some options right now. So uh, sometimes I might post Call of Duty, but it's probably going to be a little bit rare right now because uh, right now I'm kind of enjoying it. A lot of GTA and and Battlefield, so uh yeah. I post a lot about that stuff. If you guys like that, you already know what time it is. So y'all guys already know what to do here. And yeah, adios everybody.